Welcome to this video. Let's take a brief journey through three-dimensional space. This is what we call the first octet. Notice that the z-axis there is positive. Right, that axis right there is the positive x-axis. And that there is the positive y-axis, as you see. And then this is called the octet. So any point that you want to locate here would be located by having a positive x, a positive y, and a positive z. That's it. Let's continue flying across to the second octant here. And in this one, again, the z-axis is still positive. The x-axis is now, as you can see, a negative quantity. But the y-axis is still positive, as you see. So in this octant of three-dimensional space, remember the word octant simply means one out of eight pieces, okay? So these are the eight octants of a 3D coordinate system, essentially. Here, the X is negative, the Y is positive, and the Z is positive also. Let's continue our journey. Let's go on to the next octant of 3D space. In this one, take a look. The Y axis is negative, the X axis is negative, and the Z axis, as you see, is still positive. And then any point in this octant of 3D space would be given as a negative X, a negative Y, and the positive Z coordinate. Let's continue. So in this octant, take a look. The Z axis is still positive, as you see there. The Y axis now is a negative quantity, and the X axis is a positive quantity. So in this one, in this octant of space, you have the following. The X would be a positive value, the Y would be a negative value, and the Z would be a positive value if you wanted to locate a point here. Remember, just doing a kind of fast introduction to 3D coordinates. Now, we have to explore a whole underside to this, which is right here. Take a look, you see? This was the first octant originally, right here, you see? Where everything was positive in terms of the coordinates. So now, we have to go to the underside, which looks like this. And here, when I looked with this, the X is positive, as you see. The Y is still positive, but now this is the underside, so the Z is a negative quantity in this octant of space. Let's continue flying through it. So when you come to this one here, as you see, the Y is still positive. Now this is X negative and Z negative in this octant. That's how you would, for example, label a point in that octant of space. Negative X, positive Y, and negative Z. Let's continue flying. And this next octant of space here, I would label, for example, X as negative X. I would label Y as negative Y and Z as negative Z. So in this octant of space, all three of the X, Y, and Z coordinates are negative. And let's turn one more way, which is to come back over here now. And in this last octant, this is the eighth one now, Y is negative, Z is negative, and X is positive. So in this octant of space, you could label a point by saying a positive X, a negative Y, and a negative Z. Keep in mind there are some coordinate planes involved here. If you look at it from this perspective, for example, right here, the way you see it, I hope you'll agree when you look at it from here that, so for example, this is the x-axis positive, the x negative on this side, that there is positive y up go, and then going down, that's negative y. So there's still the concept of a coordinate plane, you see this? That doesn't go away just because you're in three dimensions. If you look at it from this perspective, take a look right here. This, from this perspective, it's a little rough, right, because it's made from paper, but obviously if you had it perfect, you would see that this is basically the YZ coordinate plane. The Z goes up and down, and the Y goes from left to right in this context. Take a look. You see the Y axis there, from left to right? And as you can imagine, this one right here would be the XZ coordinate plane. So this is the YZ coordinate plane. And that means this one right here would be the basic XY coordinate plane right here from this perspective. That's all I'm going to say about this. Thank you so much. I hope this has given you some insight into the construction of three-dimensional space. I'll see you in another video.